Now he's coming out uh, of his shell. To look at four-year-old Mason Lee, you'd never think this healthy and very active little boy didn't start off life that way. When Mason was two and a half weeks old, we went to his two-week checkup, and uh, Dr. Kidd noticed something and um, wasn't quite sure what it was. Ooh, harder. An hour later, Melissa found out Mason had a heart problem, a ventricular septal defect, and several holes in his heart. They were told to take him to Riley immediately. Four days later, just weeks old, Mason had surgery. Just to know that he's so tiny. Um, and I knew, only imagining how how big his heart is and, and the complexity of the surgery. While Mason is very much on the move right now, I fall. there's not much way to prepare a four year old. He will need more surgeries as he grows once every five to 10 years. Those are going to get progressively harder. You know, the first one was like, I just want my child to live. Um, seeing him at, at the age that he's at now and, and preparing for the next surgery and having all of this time to think about it. In the meantime, Melissa and Mason are doing everything they can to help. If we can get better materials, um, better procedures, a better research, we can get more longevity <laughs> out of these valves. Valves that he is clearly using as only four-year-old boys can. The two are going from school to school, kicking off jump rope for heart events with a special message. There are children who don't have a choice. Um, encourage kids to take care of their hearts. For Melissa, being positive is the only option, and giving back to all the people that supported her family and little Mason just makes sense. We could have a, ne a very negative opinion or, or feel sad because of what happened um, and, what, and the challenges that we face, um, but it, it just feels good to know that you can do something about it.